Hello and welcome back to our line of hybrid videos with Green Line. And today we're going to do a full fuel consumption and range video on the Hybrid 6 on the Green Line 40. And please stay till the end of the video because we got a big announcement. You don't want to miss that. So we're leaving the dock with 95% battery, so that means we need to run the battery down to at least 80 or 75% to give you a good reading on charging and the whole system. We are outbound on a new river following a tow and we managed to lose 2%, so it's going to be a long day to run that battery down to 75%. So right now we're seeing a pretty busy day. Uh, yesterday I went by LMC and some other marinas and all the boats are gone. Seems like everybody's taken off to Bimini or the Keys. Right now we managed to draw the battery down only to 92, but that gives us a good example. Right now we are running on 5.9 knots. We got about 32 miles, 31, 32 miles nautical miles range, strictly on electric. And that's going to be very important when we're switching over, so keep that number in mind. So we're running on electric and everybody's afraid that electric doesn't give you any power, but hey, if I'm going to floor it, it does give you a nice punch if you need it. So flat out, we are already still rising in speed, so we're already pushing 8.4, 8.3, 8.4 knots flat out on electric. Right now we're trying pretty hard to drain the battery and it is overcast but still the solar still puts in almost a kilowatt in charging uh, so we're only down to 86 so it's going to be longer than I hope. Everybody who is in custom to run twin engines and doesn't have a synchronizer button knows how hard it is to synchronize the engines. On this shifter box we have a sync button. You put your synchronizer and that puts both engines on one lever and it perfectly synchronizes the motors and you don't have to worry about it. We're still running on electric. We're trying to drain the battery as hard as we can but we are still at 82 percent. What means in the charging we will not get a full charge the battery got to be below 80% to get 100% charge out of the motors. But for our demonstration, it's going to be fine. Done that in a previous video, but I still want to demonstrate how simple and quick it is to switch between electric and diesel. We're going back to neutral. We wait till our gauges are back to zero. And then you push the start button. And as soon as the diesels are running, you see we're switching from green to blue. That means we're running on diesel. You see we're running on 950 and 1000, let's put it to 950 to 950 RPMs. And we do not create a charge. Why is that? Because we do not want to have the motor in idle and put stress on the motor with the charging. So as soon as you rev it up, you will go over a thousand RPM. And you will see how the charge starts kicking in. So now we are perfectly synchronized and you see we got 14.5 kilowatt 
recharging each side. That's almost 30 kilowatt in recharging. You can see right now we are over 80%, so 83%, and it starts cutting down the charge. It will not come in with the full charge when you go over 80%. And usually when you operate your boat, you try to keep it between 25 and 80%. That's your best operating time to charge and recharge. So now we put it in hybrid mode. That means I'm running on diesel on one side, on the starboard side, producing 8.4 kilowatts, 7.9 to 8.4 kilowatts, running on electric on the other side and consuming 5.9 to 6 kilowatts. So that means right now we're doing almost six miles to the gallon. And we're still recharging the battery. Uh, right now we're doing 6.9 knots and we're burning 1.1 gallon, 1.19 gallon an hour because I'm running on one diesel and one electric. Let me switch it over then you see the difference. I'm gonna go on neutral. I wait till everything is on neutral and I'm gonna start the diesel. So Now with both diesels running, we're burning 2.5 gallons. So we cut our fuel consumption almost in half. We're switching to hybrid mode in one diesel and one electric. So that means you're not only cutting your fuel in half, you're cutting your motor hours in half as well. And that's even beautiful switching back to electric and you see your fuel gauge dropping to zero and with overcast we're still producing almost oh we do produce 800 watts so almost a kilowatt um, and we're gonna hit a current now coming out from the river and on six knots we are using about 20 kilowatts 19 20 kilowatts So here is a number I want to show you. Right now we are running on about 4 kilowatt. That means the solar panel on the roof can supplement almost half of this. But this number, the 4 kilowatt number, keep that in mind. It's going to be very important a little bit later by our big announcement. I'm going to be in Dusseldorf. If you want to have a private tour on the brand new 42 Green Line, what will be introduced at the Dusseldorf Boat Show. Contact us at Yacht International and I personally will give you a tour at Dusseldorf on hall number one. Now we're getting over four kilowatt in solar charging. You can technically run the boat strictly on solar. And one other thing we got with Greenline, we're going to have a huge deal going on for the first three boats, specifically for the US client. If you're going to see us and you're going to buy a boat at the Dusseldorf Boat Show, it's going to be a big, big incentive from Greenline. So see me at the Little Dove Boat Show. Looking forward to meet you there.